reason for this is to make sure everybody understands what is at stake. Those videos make it clear that this is not something abstract. This is not something just reported in the news which you can discard and say it doesn't matter what's happening over there. Those videos make it clear to people that these are real human beings, real children, parents being affected in ways that are unacceptable to anybody, anywhere, by any standards. And that it is the United States of America that has always stood with others to say we will not allow this, this is not our values, this is not who we are. And that is why this is important for people to see to connect to this. Those weapons were outlawed in 1925 after Europe learned firsthand in the horrors of World War I how horrendous and, and, and completely against all sense of decency. And I know it's hard to draw lines. People say, well, what about artillery? And isn't somebody dying from an artillery blast the same as dying from this? Well, the answer is the world decided no. Because an artillery blast is aimed. And while it may have collateral damage, it is supposed to be aimed at enemy combatants. Gas is indiscriminate. It goes wherever the wind takes it. And the death that comes with it is a death that many people decided was too horrendous to describe. Those videos are for people to measure for themselves. Whether we want to unleash these weapons to be used by a dictator with impunity against his own people, but even worse, to potentially fall into the hands of terrible actors to potentially become used weapons on a daily basis by anybody anywhere because we didn't stand up and stand for what we arrived at nearly a hundred years ago.